Hey guys and girls, Pokerton King here, back with another opening. This time we have the booster box of Grand Archive. Very excited to be opening this. Um, we will be doing a special short video for the uh, promotional pack thing that you come with the Kickstarters. So we've opened up the Prelude Starter Kits already. That down went down really well. Um, I think that video is on about 80 view now, about 12 likes. Uh, so that went down really well. People were really excited to see that. So we're going to go through the box quickly. You've got the K first edition stamp there. Grand Archive, 24 booster packs. Dawn of Ashes is the name of the first set. Uh, we'll just go through as a little bit of a text. Um, and then the back's white. Uh, I'm really happy that it has the seal on it. And I hope all boxes do. Um, one of the things that Flesh and Blood kind of maybe didn't get right at the start with Alpha is the fact that it didn't have the brand seal on. Um, they did that for Arcane Rising, uh, but for Alpha they didn't. Um, which long term is something that possibly could affect uh, where people are kind of doubting whether or not it's the original seal. Um, although seals can be sort of uh, faked anyway, but with a branded seal it's a lot harder to do. And this is a very tight seal as well, so you should be able to tell whether or not it's legit. So we are going to crack straight into this. Um, I've been nervous about cracking this um, just because it's a very expensive box. Um, I just think of how much I paid for it, um, which was less than what it's going for. But these are sort of 250 to 300 pound, I think, the box now. So the seal is off. The box feels and looks brilliant. Um, we'll crack it as you would do in a shop. Uh, so you have your box toppers here. Um, so we'll open this um, and see what's inside. It's a very strange seal. Um, I'm not sure. There was something similar in the deck, so I'm not sure what how different it will be. So we have Spirit of Fire, which is a common. Spirit of Water. Spirit of Wind. Uh... I guess Spirit of Fire again, Spirit of Water, and Spirit of Wind. So it is just uh, the spirits, you get two of each, uh, which is good. Um, I do like box toppers anyway. Um, I would have possibly preferred like a, a hero box topper or something, as well as having these as well, because I'm assuming that these are quite handy. Um, so we'll show off the booster backs. There is f four designs, the four heroes. So we got Lorraine, um, I'm going to butcher these as well. Uh, he was the guy that was in the other deck. I see if I can get the name up. I think it's Rye. And then that's like Sylvia. Um, I mean, I can't remember his name, but they're the four booster packs. They look really nice. Um, they feel good. Um, so we'll start cracking out with Lorraine. Um, so the rarities are on the back here. There's also CSR as well. I think there's five or six of those, which is uh, like or SCR. They're like serialized. So the collector ultra rares are the signed cards, but there's also serialized versions as well. Um, so we'll see what we get. Um, Xander, that's it. So we'll keep those separate. Um, we'll try to sort these out. Uh, Blazing throw. Spark Alight, Savage Slash, Honourable Vanguard, Poised Strike, Glacial Guidance, uh, Tristan, Grim Stalker, Song of Return, we got Blue Slime, that's pretty cool, uncommon, Shout at Your Pets, uh, that's a Sylvia card, uh, all of us, somebody said, are instructions as well, and Frozen Nova is our rare. Um, so, to go through what the cards say, it says... Dawn of Ashes first EN 171 rare, and it has the artist. So that's kind of what the card looks like. Um, we'll keep those separate, kind of organize ourselves from the get go. Um, so I've had a look at the pull rates and kind of what you can expect to get. Um, and I think the first eight or nine slots are commons. Then you've got uncommons and then you've got a rare, but you can get a foil, I think, 
in the eighth or ninth slot. So we'll take our time with this one because it's a uh, smack with flute again. That's another Sylvia. <laughs> They're very nice. Backstab, give bath, uh, combo strike, blazing direwolf, and a bl uh, blinding orb as our rare. I like the pull tab as well. I hope that stays. It might not. These packs are quite thick as well, so they might change them up. For so we got Lorraine there, uh, and they have the levels up the cost as well. But they also have the level up as well. Do drops hairs. That's cool. Deflecting edge. Juggle knives. Uh, Alan Beast Beckoner. Cry for help. Spontaneous Combustion. Oh, and okay, this is a SR, which we will sleeve up. Him of Gaia's Grace. Very nice. Uh, does it say the... I don't think it actually says the pull rates, but there is... Tell me how you foils of each one as well. So you can get foils of all of them. Um, so Him of Gaia's Grace, that is our first... Pull of the box. The box is quite big, similar to a Magic the Gathering size. It's a bit bigger actually than Magic the Gathering because I was seeing if my acrylic cases would fit it, but it does not, unfortunately. Uh, so that's Sylvie uh, because I have uh, some Lord of the Rings boxes in acrylic cases which are the same size as Magic the Gathering, but this is. Oh, we got our first foil, which is an uncommon. Tempest Silverback. So yeah, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine. So it would be eight or nine, I guess. It's usually I, I don't know if it's the last or first slot, but that is our first foil, which is really nice. Very nice. I might have to keep the box off camera so we can display these. Um, otherwise, it might be too difficult. Uh, so we got Fairy Whisperers, Crux Sight, and Frozen Nova as our rare. Five. Maybe take the packs out the box, it might be easier. We'll keep half out. So we can kind of have that. And we got Lorraine, the metal card in the back there. That's a little bit better. We got Rai, Mana Weaver, Song of Nurturing. I'll need to read up into how you play this game. Train Talk, Barrier Servant. Spurn to Ash, Asian Protector, and we've got a, another SR there, Triscuit Guidance Angel. Very nice, that's a pretty card. Let me put the commons. Yes, the packs are considerably thicker than the actual cards. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But you know, this is the kick. This is the alpha. This is the very first set. So I think you know they've done very well considering this is their first set. Um, that's a pretty card as well. Idle thoughts. We've got arcane disposition, blitz mage. That's very nice in foil. I'd like to get that. And we got another SR there, which is thousand refractions. So. I'm assuming SRs are quite common. Um, we've got just as many SRs as rares, so maybe it's just the, the box hasn't, um, where I've sort of taken the packs from each one. Uh, Xander Prepared Scout, Rebellious Bull, but 
Bandit, Ignite the Soul. This reminds me of uh, from Howl's Moving Castle. Bubble Mage, uh, Korhazi Korea, and Zephyr is our rare. I will be for sure getting some Ultra Edition of this uh, to open up on the channel. I won't be opening up any more Kickstarter boxes, but I will be getting some Ultra Edition when that releases in April. So unfortunately we're going to have a quite a big gap between content. Oh, we've skipped. So we have a... Oh, we've got an SR for actually. Ghosts of Pendragon. That makes me think of Arthur Pendragon. Very nice. That's a, an SR. So I don't know how common they are. Um, there's 31 foils. So 31 super rares. So very nice. So that's our second foil. Uh, so uncommon, uncommon, and a rare uncover the plot. So that will be our foil slot, I guess. Um, in that ninth slot. So I guess that's regardless of what what it is. Um, it's it's going to be in that ninth slot, which is good actually because it means it's kind of protected. I don't like it when the last slot is the foil. This in a foil looks really pretty. Um, something goes. So we've got blue slime, water barrier, and tactile in uh, tactful sergeant. I have seen quite a lot of these signed cards and they look very pretty. Um, that really kind of adds a collector's thing. And that will be in all the uh, decks that come out as well. There's a chance to get them. And the Ultra Edition as well. So it's not just exclusive for Kickstarter. Obviously there's slightly different cards there. Um, and then we've got another rare which is Korhazi Infiltrator. Did we get that before? No, I think we just got a different card to that. So there will be a chance to get the uh, collector's ultra rares and the serialized ones, I believe, in the main sets as well. So, very excited for that. These cards look and feel beautiful. Um, I've said it a couple of times, but if you are interested in getting involved in Grand Archive, I highly suggest pre-ordering some of that uh, Ultra Edition. Got another rare there. If you can try and get your LGS to stock it, um, I would recommend. There are, I think, bonuses for stores that stock it and hold events and that, you know, like promos and stuff like that, which early on in card games, people really like the promos and stuff. They're often very um, sought after. So, I've managed to trade for some promos myself, so I've got some. Uh, there is a, I think the level 3 of this, which is uh, the Collector's Rare. <laughs> Esteemed Knight, Monk for Target, Enraged Boars, that makes me laugh. Flame Lush Subura, Water Barrier, Mind Freeze, and a Tide Diviner. Uh, I've got nothing special, like nothing mental promos. But I've got a couple that I've managed to trade um, some stuff for. Alpha Mania, Merlin, Memory Thief. I think the top Merlin card is one of the serialized collector's rares. Sears Sword, Strapping Construct. Ooh, we got a UR, Majestic Spirits. We got a sleeve still in there? No, we don't. Let me open up another pack. I have many sleeves. So you are is there's five ultra rares. So maybe you get one per box. We'll leave you there. Um, it's it's quite a weird concept of getting like an ultra rare, but it's not foil. Um, I do like that. I like Flesh and Blood where you can get any card in the foil. Um, 
And Lord of the Rings did that as well until I think midway through and then it was just select rares that were foil. But I like being able to get any card in a foil. Um, got Warrior's Longsword, Arrow Trap and a Horn of Beast Calling. But I do like having the higher rarity stuff only in foil. Because uh, with Flesh and Blood, usually the higher rarity stuff you can get in cold foil or rainbow foil. Um, and then when they do like history packs, which are like reprint sets, they do a non-foil, which is fine. Um, but I do like having them exclusively in the main sets as just um, foil. Uh, call the pack. So we've got only two foils so far. They are quite hard to pull, uh, which I do like the chase of pulls, uh, foils. I think a lot of card games, uh, specifically, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, it's too easy to pull many foils. So there's definitely a balance oh, of having um, a good amount. <laughs> Ember Tail Scroll, that's cute. Library Witch, I think that was a promo as well. They did a version of that. Uh, we've got Tempered Steel, a Blitz Mage, and a Rare Erupting Rhapsody. I've just realised I've put a load of commons onto on commons from that pack. And I've probably done it. Oh no, they just are all the uncommons. We are over halfway through. We've got this stack of packs left. Hopefully we'll get another hollow or two. We've got three SRs, two foils, one of which is an SR and a UR so far. I don't know what the pull rate's like, what you'd expect to get per box. Um, I just know how hard it is to get some of these cards. Unless you're Geo and you just seem to apparently get these uh, serialized collector's rares very easily. Sudden Snow. Safeguard Amulet, and a Uncover the Plot Rare. So foils are very hard to get. Um, I don't know if that will be the same in the Ultra Edition. Also, there's some information as well in the back. I probably should have. There's no guarantee that any cards yet. They also said population reports of cards can be found in the index. They actually include populations report, which I think is quite good to be very sort of um, transparent from the get-go um, it didn't it kind of worked to and against flesh and blood because they didn't do it from the get-go and then when they did it like the hype had built and sort of thing so I think if you're going to do it and you do it from the start I think that's a good idea energetic beast bonder giant tortoise and a another SR which is power overwhelming which I think I had a version of that. Yeah, that was a rare in the uh, prelude packs for the Kickstarter decks. So it's interesting that that is a SR in the main set. So we've got Lorraine, level two. Deep Sea Beast Bonder, Swift Recruit, Alan Beast Beckoner, Opening Cut, Fishing Accident, Curved Dagger, and a Reckless Conversion, which is another SR. I also don't know if you get a foil SR, it counts as one of the SRs, or it just counts as a random foil, I think. Um, all this kind of thing will be uncovered, I suppose, as more people open and the card game progresses. Um, I'm not sure if they've announced that or not, but uh, I should probably double check. Some people have put some really good stuff together so far. Melangere Beast Bonder, Merlin again. Bauble of Abstinence, Ignited Stab. The art is really, really nice on these cards. Ember Song, Wild Wind Renaissance Bauble, Frozen Nova. So we're down to our last four packs uh, and we've got two foils so they really are very difficult to get um, as they say there is no oh I've messed that pack up there's no 
I mean, all sets say, I think they have to cover themselves by saying no guaranteed. Um, I don't remember seeing how many foils per box, but I'm pretty sure it's more than two from what I've seen people opening. That's a nice card. Ooh. I was hoping to get some nice foils so I can um, put them at the front of my binder. We've got another. That's a nice one. It's a rare. They also released how many versions there are, like how many copies are foil of each card. Um, I think it's 131 copies of each common in a foil. So that SR, oh, we've kind of spoiled it, but Mana Limiter, oh, that is another foil. That is a uncommon. So we've got a common, uncommon, and SR. That is a very pretty card. I'm gonna look at that off camera. Very pretty. Uh, Beast Bomb Boots. <laughs> Uh, hasty messenger and a zephyr as our rare. I think we've got that before. So two more packs. Uh, we've got a Lorraine pack here. Sylvie, Prime Session, Sirfiri Mercenary, Grey Wolf, Give Bath. Veteran Soldier, Zephyr Assistant, Conceal, uh, Impassioned Tutor, and Ghost of Pendragon, but non-foil. So we've got six S non-foil SRs. Just putting these cards in the box. I like to sort those out, and then they're the commons. Final pack of this video. It feels like this has gone short, but we're at 22 minutes now, so it's a bit of a longer video. But kind of wanted to sort of spend a bit more time going through these cards because it is a new card game, and it is you know this isn't we're ripping our 40th box of WTR. So we've only got three foils out of the box. Great of shock and a phalanx captain as our last rare. So we'll do a quick highlight of the pools so far. Let me just put these cards. Obviously, I've started putting values on stuff in the videos, but it's going to be um, unfortunately impossible to do it for these because unless it was something like massive, massive, there's not going to be sales. So here's our SRs. And then we've got our UR, which is this one here. And we've got three foils. We've got a SR, a common, and a uncommon. Thanks all for watching. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed opening this. It was a lot of fun. Um, as I said in the last video, the cards feel great. They look great. Um, and everything that uh, Grand Archive, Weaves of the Shore are doing at the moment signals to me that the card game should at least for the first year do very well ultra edition comes out in april um so i would highly recommend getting involved in that speak to your local lgs see if they are stocking it if they're not perhaps show them um to try and get them interested in um and there are sort of uh, promos and such for um stores that are going to be backing it uh so thanks all for watching please comment subscribe as always and have a great day